Please click on the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed my vlog. Bye for now. everybody i thought i'd show you a few clips today it's john from old john's vlogs of uh, barnsley before it was uh, um, rebuilt again and i'm pleased to tell you all that uh, the new barnsley is wonderful um, when these uh, buildings were built when i was a young fellow uh, now an old man um, we wondered at the time why all this concrete building uh, had been done. It, it, it appeared to have uh, lost a lot of the character in Barnsley when it was completed. Um, but the one thing about Barnsley which is uh, still uh, here today uh, as it was then when I took these photographs when these, in fact when these buildings were built built was the uh, market we've always had a wonderful market in the Barnsley here you can see some of the uh, places where you used to park the car and the offices as well on the left on the right uh, and it's one big um, cement block uh, which didn't go down well with a lot of people at the time although I'm sure there's a lot of people would disagree with me now in fact, some people thought that these buildings should stay up. But I'm all for progression and I was glad to see the back of these. And uh, I have to tell you that the town now, the shopping area of the town now, is far better than, these, uh, uh, than it was back then, in my view. And I have to stress that. Uh, but you can see all sorts of... Uh, things were happening in Barnsley uh, well I should say these are the things that was happening in Barnsley at the time it was going downhill fast and I'm pleased I'm very very pleased that uh, people uh, were able to do away with these concrete blocks now if you remember some of the photos I took before I don't know if I've uh, if you can remember those, but I'll certainly put them on again. Uh, the Barnsley College was built of, of blocks like this, and it started to crumble. Uh, the college where I used to work, and it since been had to be rebuilt. I don't know if these were crumbling, these buildings, but they certainly were not conducive with today's shopping experience. Uh, but you can see as while these uh, buildings were being torn down uh, new businesses were starting to come into Barnsley and I have to say that uh, now these buildings are down and new buildings have gone up in their place uh, it, the shopping experience in Barnsley is far better than I've ever known and it is you can see here you can see where the buildings were being torn down and how difficult it was look at the thickness of that uh, to, to uh, crumble that and break it, break it down uh, my wife in on the act there in the red coat she is looking around to see um, what's uh, around the corner and you can see in, even there there's uh, things boarded up and if you look right at the top there you could see uh, that the building was being pulled down now uh, already uh, I'm forgetting where these buildings are and I'm pleased in a way but uh, I'm sure uh, historians will be able to tell you everything about these buildings but I didn't want to take that route I just wanted to show you all um, so that you didn't forget what it looks like or looked like I should say um, and uh, here you can see, look, there's uh, big windows ready to be uh, are boarded up in readiness, probably have um, either been broken and 
not being repaired or the building was go uh, going to come down. The, uh, even then, uh, there was quite a few uh, shopping people about and don't forget there was a pandemic uh, around the corner when I took these. Um, this was before the mask you can see and uh, I went around shortly after I'd taken these photographs and everybody was wearing masks. Indeed I'm still wearing masks in 2022, um, 2021 I beg your pardon and uh, I'm being very cautious because I'm, I'm old. Uh, but look here, you know, there's lots of people about and um, you can see the old uh, and the new together as it was. Uh, you can see the older buildings in my view were far nicer than the new buildings that went up. And here's the mix of old and new. Uh, and uh, I'm not really happy about those two in the middle there. Uh, they look a bit um, as though they've uh, been made of concrete. But what about benches? This, this in my view ought to be left up as an icon where many young couples in my day uh, went under the uh, clock and met their future spouses or partners. And um, but you can see underneath the shops there are uh, no longer in operation when I was taking the photographs. Um, I believe there's a plan forward for those shops. I don't think they're coming out. But here we have the Civic at the, at the side. Wonderful memories of the Civic of my childhood. Uh, there was a library in there uh, for children. Used to go upstairs in the library. Been to many uh, things in the theatre there. Uh, I've seen some wonderful folk music, some plays and stars as well. Ken Dodd I saw uh, there at one point. Some people might not remember Ken Dodd now since passed away. Very funny man in his day. And uh, Charlie Williams of course has got a blue plaque on there which I've uh, shown in a few slides earlier. And uh, there's I think two or three thousand people have had a look at the slides I did of Charlie's uh, black. What a nice man he was. Um, he used to speak to me when he was walking around Barnsley. Um, always at the time of day for people and uh, you know I'm sure he must have thought at, at some point how nice some of these buildings were and perhaps like me he thought that some weren't so nice. But here you can see the uh, uh, area where no traffic goes, it's just for pedestrians. I think that theme will carry on. Still over 200 stalls inside of the old market, still open for business at that time. Since then of course the new market's gone up and uh, I recommend it actually. Um, we uh, brought some people from Bradford and they were bowled over by the new market in Barnsley. They said they're nothing like it you know, where they lived. And they made a few purchases while they were there. Our in-laws they were. Nice people. Uh, my brother-in-law and his wife. Uh, that's Frank and Barbara. And of course this is the old place on the market. And you can see it's a mishmash affair of... Uh, wow. Well, what can you say about these buildings that I've not already said? It's just one uh, mass of concrete. I don't know, I honestly don't know why these buildings were built like this. I suppose it was the thing in the day, uh, but I'm very, very pleased that we don't have to have eyesores like this today. And uh, when I said don't, that's a good old Barnsley word coming out there means doesn't for people that's listening to my video, uh, my vlog rather, uh, and may not understand the way I speak. Now there is there are several dialects in Barnsley now. The, uh, the one 
uh, which is up Sheffield Road, which was probably central to Barnsley at one point, has a very, very strong uh, accent. And people ought to utilise that and, uh, and use it for people who are wanting to visit Barnsley. One of the things I did while working in college, in my lunch hours I should say, was trying to get to grips with speaking to foreign students who I used to uh, look after in a way. And um, they used to laugh at me, of course, trying to pronounce their uh, language and speak their language. Um, but the one thing that after about three months of the student uh, studying in Barnsley, living in Barnsley, they wanted to know all about the Barnsley accent. And uh, they used to find it really funny to hear things like it in tin tin. It is not in the tin. It in tin tin, what are they playing at? And they, they, some of the people who are listening to this video today may think that that sounds crude or rude. But to foreign students, they, they thought it was very interesting and very funny too. So I think we should exploit the use of dialect um, when people come to Barnsley. Not in a rude or crude way, but in a, a, a nice, pleasant way. One of the overriding factors when people come to Barnsley to shop, uh, and as you can see these buildings uh, were not conducive to the shopping experience you can have today, the overriding thing is that people always say the Barnsley people are very friendly. Now, let's utilise that too, let people know that we're very friendly, and when we sit out on uh, in our chairs like this, uh, let them want to listen to what we have to say in the dialect we speak. And uh, also, of course, let us use it in both ways and learn their dialects and their languages. Burlington Arcade. Um, I can't say anything about Burlington Arcade at the moment. Do you know, it's, it's amazing how quick uh, you forget these things, um, how it uh, passes from your memory when you get older. I know as a child I used to be down this area with mum and dad, there was uh, a market all in, on here to on Cheapside I believe and I remember on one occasion it was absolutely throwing it down with rain and we was uh, trying to escape the rain under the like these things you can see here now the market stalls and uh, we had to climb up actually uh, onto the stall so that we didn't get wet it was raining that hard but here you could see there you could see there was some of the old buildings uh, ornate style too look at the one in the far uh, of the picture far side of the picture how ornate that is and uh, I think we all understand today that being ornate is too expensive and we have to go with uh, more realistic uh, shapes and of buildings. But I'm not really sure why I took that photograph now. It was significant at the time. And again, you can see an old building there with that picture in the windows, uh, part of the old Barnsley there. Uh, and I think these buildings are still staying up, I don't know. You will have to find out uh, later when I take some more photographs. Hopefully next time I can take some uh, videos. I hadn't a video at that time. Uh, but once again, the market shops and cafes upstairs. Cafes upstairs and you can see they have been well used. Uh, it's not so much a culture in Barnsley, the market. It is really, but it's also something that people really want to do. They want to go to ma the market. And it, in today's market, you can get anything in there. 
Uh, just have a look around and see what you can buy. Um, you know, because it's really nice. So yeah, just going back to the old buildings again there, you can see once again there's lots and lots of people around. Uh, they try to make these buildings look a li little bit os less austere by putting plants on the top and hanging baskets and you can see on the left. And also posters helped at that time. And there was a lot of information going about as to what uh, was going to change in Barnsley. But we went, you can see there's a market stall there with things hanging uh, from it. And you can see also that this is uh, a walking precinct where uh, very few uh, vehicles are allowed on there. Perhaps they were allowed on when it was the stalls were putting their wares on. Uh, but they had to come off again, of course. Better shopping experience for people when they're walking around like that and not having to dodge cars, vehicles of any description and um, you know uh, we were moving with the times and although the ground looked well you couldn't do as much with these buildings they were always a blot on the landscape in my view and once again I have to say that there were a lot of people that would disagree with that but anyway, the objective of uh, these uh, colours on the windows was to try and make it look the building look a little bit more uh, uh, eye friendly. Uh, it didn't work, did it? Now, I think that is a photograph in twice, but it doesn't really matter if I'm narrating. Because you can see uh, by looking at this photograph that people were in shorts. It was a very hot morning. And I, I came around extra early to take these photographs uh, to try and miss all these people. But because it was hot, they all had the same idea. They came out early. At one point while I was taking the photographs, I was stopped uh, by someone asking me what I was doing. And a th also a policeman uh, took a look at me to see what I was doing, but he was very friendly towards me and uh, there was no uh, problem in carrying on taking the photographs. Now, I always, through my vlogs, which you might see on my site, or it is, I think that was below Boots, the chemist. Um, always when I take vlogs uh, and photographs I try not to have uh, children on them without their parents telling me that it's quite alright. So you can see a mishmash of buildings on this side and once again the concrete dominates and funny enough the sun went down at this point uh, but not for long but again look at the people the amount of people that's out and about shopping and the new stalls were uh, erected you know people weren't just passing through they were purchasing things from these uh, people and I suspect they come from all over the uh, locality to, sh to set up their shops there uh, here to let, now I wonder about to let, whether it's uh, now gone on on this building. I honestly cannot remember. It's only a few years ago. Uh, this used to be the uh, third of fair through, and I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, the uh, it goes to the Alhambra Centre. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, it's here, look, the Alhambra Centre. Uh, now the Alhambra, the word Alhambra is actually a Spanish word and the Spanish, Spaniard students I was involved with were quick to point this out to me. And so uh, for people that think that dialects and languages are not important, we're, we're all in there in the mix somewhere. And uh, what we got there, uh, AA 
for selling things uh, in, uh, for car drivers. We've got the uh, ice cream van to cool people down because it was very hot. Uh, and as you can see, this gentleman is wearing a hat to try and get out of the sun. Moved away from the uh, town centre, really now, I suppose. And you can see some of these older buildings. Uh, and oh, the Alhambra Centre is on the left there. The older buildings on the right. And some maybe a bit mishmash, but at the top there, you've got the co op. Now, I was working at the, uh, the notice the co op buildings were all ornate buildings, uh, and uh, justification to uh, detail was uh, paramount at that, that time. And beautiful buildings to work in. I worked at the uh, co op restaurant at the age of 14 part time and I went on to work full time there later um, and there was a, a shop up Market Street and this is not Market Street but there was a shop up there called and I'm not being rude the cock shop and the cock shop was uh, a reticent mat which uh, cooked chickens on spits and these spits used to go round and round until the uh, chickens were cooked and uh, there was always a, big, a long queue for these chickens um, so yeah some of these old buildings bring back uh, memories for me when I was a lad walking around uh, Barnsley with mum and dad I used to look up and wonder who built these, why they were built, why they were such odd shapes and so on and so forth. I'm not really sure now but at the top of this street used to be a cobbler shop um, for repairing old shoes. You can see at this one it looks as though the scaffolding's uh, there to hold something in place. Can't say what, cause I don't know. Um, but this uh, has been made to look a nice uh, shop front, uh, and it's a very an old building, of course. And some people might have been there. I don't know. I certainly haven't. Well, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will have, and I have nice fond memories of it too. Um, I can't say a lot about uh, shops like that but I can say quite a bit about the co-op and you can see if you look carefully you can see there's all sorts of fine detail on this uh, on the top of this uh, building and once again you can see it from a distance and uh, the I think the cobbler shop I referred to was just to the right of what is now uh, looks like an Italian restaurant yeah that's right and oh look and, uh, and something I've overlooked is the red pillar box I love to see the red pillar boxes and I also love to see the old fashioned uh, red uh, phone boxes because that's from my youth as a child and uh, mm, why, where is this then? I think it's it's still part of the old court complex, isn't it? That one I've shown before, but it, as again, look at the spikes on there and, and uh, all sorts of stuff on there. Oh, there's a pigeon. <laughs> and there's, actually, there's a, what looks like a kestrel on the right hand side. But... Uh, wonderful detail you know I mean I hope this clock doesn't have to go uh, at some point I hope it doesn't have to be pulled down but if it does uh, to preserve it now this is the old restaurant and look at the tiling on the front of that building and it um, underneath was a bread shop and also there was a hmm, some kind of a grocery shop that's right and then you went up to the second floor and the third floor and right at the top 
it used to be the chef's building. Now I don't know what was uh, on the other side of that road. There used to be a jewel jewelry shop on uh, Market uh, Street, I believe it was called. Um, now what was this building some kind of a bank? Yeah, maybe. But again, uh, co-op, uh, and you can see how ornate things were. And that was a speciality of the co-op buildings, really, uh, to make them look outstanding and to attract people in. And I'm not sure about this blue. I don't think that works really well, but, you know, who am I? Uh, is that building still up yet? Or is it one of those that burnt down? New Street. Now what can I say about New Street? Nothing. <laughs> the memory is gone. And on that note, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Bye.